say more about codes. What is a code? Okay. And how does that apply? A code is a system of symbols for communication. Specifically, a code is okay. a symbolic message that ex is exchanged between an encoder and a decoder. Okay? A communication does not take place until you have all three of these things. Okay? And so. Does, this, does the code mean have the meaning itself? Is that what you mean by a symbol, or is? Okay, so 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 I press an A on my computer keyboard, and a one zero 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 one goes across the wire. Yeah. And then on the other side, the computer goes, oh, that's an A. Okay. Well, this is not an A. This is a symbol for an A. This is a representation of A. And it's represented by electrons that are doing this. Okay? Mm -hmm. You know, it's zero volts, five volts. That's what this is what's actually going on, is there's an electrical signal that's going five volts, zero volts, five volts. Okay. Well, what does this have to do with A? It's an arbitrary decision that the designer made. That this is going to be A, this is going to be B, and you cannot derive this from the laws of physics. You can go look up an ASCII table on the internet, mm -hmm. and you can find it. You can't derive this from the laws of physics. Right. You can't derive the English alphabet from the laws of physics either. It's all arbitrary. People who desire to communicate with each other set this up and agree, which means there has to be agreement between encoder and decoder in order for a code to work, in order for there to be communication. They, they cannot have independently arrived at the code. Right. They have to have a, somewhere, right. somebody agreed. Yeah, yeah. There, there, was, there was there was agreement. agreement. Okay. okay. Now, the same thing is true in DNA. GGG represents glycine. GGG is not glycine. AAA represents lysine. It's not lysine. It's instructions to the ribosomes Mm -hmm. that's, that's what, what it is. is. Mm -hmm. It's instructions. And so it's symbolic. It's not physical. Mm -hmm. Okay, and this is, this is so important. Information is in, immaterial. Mm -hmm. You can't get codes just, you can't open a physics book and somehow get from Newton's laws or, you know, laws of electricity or whatever to Oh, 10001 is A, because this, this was chosen, okay? Now, here's, so here's, here's the thing that this all rests on. No systems like this are known to be created by physical laws. There's no example anywhere in the world of a system like this coming into existence by accident or like if we went to some distant planet where there's no life we don't find communication systems rocks don't communicate sunlight falling on the ground is not communication communication is an intelligent activity that every time we've ever seen a system like that it's always been designed by a person now I can understand, let me just understand this, we, that in a computer, it's arbitrary to use that pattern to give an A. Right. And I could have chosen this pattern right. to be an A, but I didn't. Right. 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 One, one, zero, zero, one, zero could have been. But is there a chemical reason why uh, GGG is, uh, was it lysine? Glycine. Glycine. Could, could it have been AAA give me glycine, or is there a chemical reason why it had to be glycine? AAA could have been glycine. So there's, or no, chemical, some other, there's no chemical reason. There, 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 probably, there probably is a chemical connection, or it could be the GGGs get used somehow. Um, I, don't, I don't know the, uh, the very fine details of this, but there's no, like, there's no rule that says it had to be four letters. Mm -hmm. You can find peer-reviewed papers talking about what if there had been six letters or eight letters okay. or two letters, okay? There's no... It's still doable. There's other ways to make glycine, mm -hmm. okay? okay? 
You can come up with glycine all kinds of ways, but this is a very particular way. And, and, and the genetic code, you, it's not found in a physics book. It's there. Um, and, so, and so the question is, where did this code come from? It has all the characteristics that we'll get. There's a lot more than what we said so far. It has all the characteristics uh, of human design protocols where you're sending signals back and forth. Um, and so it's an implication of design. 